November. We're in Marbella and this is episode seven of the Marbella Food Tours with myself, Louise Brace from Rental Tonic and my colleague, Daniela from School Apartments Marbella. And today we're inside an apartment instead of outside on the terrace. Yes, because now it's autumn, the time has changed and it's dark outside. Uh -huh. Obviously we couldn't meet at five o'clock for a tapas tour. Not really. Um, so I thought that today I'll show you how comfortable the apartments are on the inside. Fabulous, and what a beautiful apartment it is as well, oh. huh? And so beautifully designed. This is a unique, <laughs> this is one unique apartment. Uh, spectacular design and amazing quality. You could be staying here. <laughs> yeah, but in general they all have a very well-equipped kitchen, comfortable sofa, and of course, the offices with the views that of are course, the terraces of course we've seen in previous episodes and so this leads me on to asking daniela november december january february what type of visitors do you um, receive in marbella well now for the winter sun because as you can see we're still in summer clothes while the rest of europe really? poor people <laughs> <laughs> that are ready with jumpers and scarves uh, we have um, retired couple and uh, digital nomad remote workers mm -hmm. and people that come to Marbella because they want to move to Marbella, invest in a property in Marbella and, or buy their second home here for their holiday. So now is the time to come to Marbella and, and search for a property. Of course. And I know you have a project in mind. I do. <laughs> well, uh, obviously I'm a copywriter for hospitality, um, but because I'm based in Marbella, um, which is one of the biggest tourist destinations in the world. Um, lots of people that I work with in Andalusia or who want to invest in a holiday rental um, or a short-term rental in Andalusia come to me and I help them find properties. So if you are looking for an investment in Marbella or in fact anywhere in the province of Malaga or Andalusia, um, get in touch because I can help you. So. We're on our, our seventh episode of the Barbea Food Tour and before we go out and have food, um, I just wanted to say that this is always a surprise for me. So I never know where we're going to go for tapas um, during the evening. Um, Daniela surprises me every time and she always surprises and delights me. So I don't know where we're going tonight. Suspense is on yes. and I like to surprise people, yeah. especially you. So, should we go and have some tapas then? Of course, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Chin Chin Louise. And so first stop of the evening in our seventh episode, where have you brought me? We are in the Kladak bar in the School Apartments Marbella. If you didn't know, we had an Irish bar on site. And how cute they put our names on our so pines. Sweet. Very sweet. Such a detail, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so wow. if you come one of these days, uh, you can have your own name or even your picture or your pint. How cute or is that? Or your half pint. Absolutely. Ching <laughs> <laughs> ching, ching ching. We are in uh, Cochino, Marbella. It's a gourmet tapas bar. It's new, they only opened not even a year ago. And uh, it's typical Spanish tapas, but with a twist. Okay, so we've ordered quite a lot of food, but we're on to the first part of our dinner. We're gonna have more um, images of the food later on. What have we got on the table at the moment? 
Uh, these are croquetas, um, the oh. usual Spanish croquettes with uh, pork and jamón. And here we have some kind of, uh, let's say, lettuce tacos with uh, pastrami. Everything okay. is homemade okay, so like a, and it looks delicious. Like a mix of New York and Marbella, all in one. Pastrami, tacos, Mexican. E, e, we're in Marbella. What more could we ask for? Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's eat. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's try. Chin Chin Luis. Chin Chin Pinchiso. Okay, second restaurant or tapas bar of the evening, where are we? We are in Bodega San Bernabé, very near the old town of Marbella in the Alameda Square. And this is a real, real typical uh, Spanish bar. Uh -huh. um, and what do we have on the table? So we have ensaladilla rusa, chicharrones frito, Chicharrones fritas. Chicharrones, some of your favorites. <laughs> and here we have tostada de sar sardines and red peppers. And here we have tomato and tuna. Everything looks amazing, so we're gonna eat and enjoy. And you're gonna come here and enjoy the food as well when you come to Marbella. Absolutely. Let's dig in. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. 